Guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the Arsenio Bug Show. And you know what? We got a Q&A today, man. I got a question from someone. They say, you know what, man? I've been working for a friend. And I'm like, okay. And he said, you know what? I've been working for this particular individual for more than four months. The problem is every time when the payment comes, it's always delayed. He never gets paid on time. He said the first time, you know, it was just a couple of days. He's like, okay, no problem. But then next thing you know, five days happen. And then 10 days. And then I'm like, oh my God, first and foremost, if it's 10 days, uh, you know, what else can you do? But he said, you know what, because finances are very tight, I just can't up and quit. What should I do? So it's really interesting that you asked this question because I've been through that. I'm going through that, and I've been through something like that uh, in the past with another uh, – well, actually, one of my friends, she said she was always paid late. And I'm like, first and foremost, there ain't no goddamn working for free. Either you're going to pay me on the time that we agreed upon or I'm done. Now, I do have the luxury of having that type of flexibility that I do not need – to rely on this one person because, again, it's all about building multiple sources of income. Now, if your friend is a full-time real estate job or whatever, he should be able to pay you on time. If he doesn't, well, you know what? There's a big problem. And so I'm going to give you a couple of stories. I remember I wasn't paid one time when I was work when I came back from uh, – when I had come back from Australia working at a place as a dental assistant. I remember it went by. One day went by. Nothing was debited into my account. So I took it up with the director, Brenda, and I was like, Brenda, I didn't get paid today. She's like, really? I was like, yeah. She's like, okay, let me contact the agency. I went down there, contacted him. He said, oh, I'm okay, I'm sorry, uh, you didn't put in your information right. So it was, all my pro- it was all my fault because the account numbers had switched because I reopened up my bank account. And so what, en- what ended up happening after that, boom, another week went by. I was down to probably about $10, okay? Boom, it didn't open up again. I said, oh my fucking God. I said, Brenda, I did not get paid again. So finally, I went down there. What What is it? I went back home, and I was just so stressed out. I had to ask my brother, hey, you know what? I need to borrow this, but I need to go down here and this and that, and it's just a big issue right now. I'm going to handle it and pay you back later. So you gave me the money, went down to that agency, and this uh, ugly old guy, I was like, listen, dude, you guys didn't pay me for two weeks. What's going on here? And, you know, he was very, very nice. He ended up cutting me a check for that $800. And I was like, finally, I'm in the plus side of everything. So, I mean, all in all, that's called handling a situation mano a mano, hand to hand. Listen, I'm not getting paid. If I don't get paid, I can't do this anymore. And I remember I told Brenda, I said, Brenda, I don't have any money. I don't even have a bus pass to come down here. Either I get paid or I'm going to have to take a week off work. And she was like, no, I can't allow you to take a week off work. She's like, listen, I'm going to call them. He said, go down there, go get the money. So she helped me out. Now, there was a situation last August. This lady, I tried contacting her on so many occasions and whom I still work for today. But again, they were going through transition to whatever it was. Employees were leaving at their, uh, at their what is it, the office that they actually work at. So I said, okay, but that's none of my, that's none of my business. What what I want is if I do something and you say you will pay me on this day, and it was kind of like I think in April they were two days late. May, they were a little bit late. June, July, August, they were damn near a week late. I said, hey, if you don't um, – and I told her, I said, if you do not give me my money within the next couple of hours, I will quit with you guys and I will no longer work here. And she got, you know, and th- that's the only way I could have got her, t- uh, got her attention was by threatening to quit. Hey, if you don't do this, I'm going to have to quit. I'm not going to I'm not going to do this with you. And so, you know, all of a sudden, you know, I guess it was a little bit better. I was very angry for about a month and whatnot. I was just I was just I was over it. That's all there is to it. Now, I could have handled the situation much better. But now I'm like, okay, well, I'm dealing with the same thing again today. So let's put it this way. Work for a part-time job, okay? This part-time job, okay, this day, this day, this day, this day. You pay me this time. Every time he says the pay period ends around the 24th, 25th, or 26th. So there isn't even a specific day when the pay period ends. So then I've got my hand on my chin and I'm like, okay, this is really weird. Now, last month, 
There was another guy working there, and I could always contact him directly to say, hey, man, I didn't get paid. He's like, oh, my God, so sorry, this, that. I'm going to transfer it to you right now. And that that's because he was a buddy of mine. There isn't a set day. And it's funny because if the pay period ends, tell me exactly what time and what day I do get paid. I shouldn't have to come back over and over to ask you. That's all there is to it. And so... Of course, after that, I'm like, okay, so when am I going to get paid? And so today's July 2nd. And I remember it took him to about July. I remember it took him 10 to 12 days to pay me one time. The pay period ends the 26th. And then he says, oh, you get paid on the first of the month, but you have this bank. So you have to wait two days. I'm like, that's a bunch of motherfucking bullshit. You should be able to pay me even if it's direct transfer. Let's get it done. And so I stopped working with him for about a year. He came back and I said, I'm going to do this again. So, again, the same reoccurring bullshit-ass problems. Now, I'm on the 2nd of July and I'm all over this guy. I woke up this morning, checked it, and I'm like, guys, this is general principle. I know when I get paid for my full-time job, the 12th. I know when I get paid from another place, the 15th. I know when I get paid another separate check, the 8th. I know when I get paid from another place, that's the 15th. So 15th, 12th, 8th, and uh, 5th. Right? So those are the five pla- those are four places, but this one, it's always a fucking question mark. So what do I do? Okay, so how am I gonna take this? You're probably wondering, okay, I have a friend over there. What do you do in terms of this situation? Because he's not your friend. It doesn't matter if he's your friend or not. Listen, business is business, and you have to be able to approach it from this kind of standpoint, saying, Hey, I'm very assertive right now, it's principle. That's all there is because I know if I'm very lenient with this, you're going to keep walking over me and you're going to push the days even back further. No, I don't give a damn about this or that. It's the principle. You pay me on this day or I'll walk. So in my, in my, you know, what's happening right now, I'm like, okay, listen, it's July 2nd. I message him. I'm like, hey, uh, when exactly do I get paid? He's like, hey, okay, someone from this team is going to contact you about your hours from last month. I'm like, what the fuck is that supposed to mean? What is that supposed to mean? What do you mean contact me about my hours? And I'm like, uh, okay. You got about maybe till about 5 p.m. to contact me about my hours. So what's going to happen now is if you don't pay me today, I'm going to start canceling every class from here on out until you pay me. It's general principle. And you know what? Not only that, if I cancel tomorrow and then he doesn't pay by probably tomorrow evening, I'm going to hurry up and get all over him, make him pay me, and then I'll quit right there in front of his face. So I'm like, hey, uh, pause. I'm no longer going to work until you you pay me. And then I'm going to get the payment and I'm going to say pause. Because of the situation that happened, this happened last year and this happened today, uh, you know, over the last couple of months. Therefore, I can no longer work with you. I do apologize, but it is what it is. So, uh, again, I remember I had to call a lady because this lady, let's just put her in the middle. This lady is the one that gets paid from, like, let's just say number one. She's number two, okay? She's not the middleman, but she is number two. So, what ends up happening is her boss is on top of her. She's the number two, and the other contacts are the ones that pay her. Well, he is supposed to pay me on time for probably another class and, of course, the Wednesday class and other things that I do. But because he's late, now I'm going to have to contact her, just like I contacted the lady last year, just like I contacted her last year about the other lady that was a week late. And I called her and I said, hey, uh, listen, I got to quit. She's like, what? I was like, yo, girl ain't paying me on time. I'm not working for free. I'm not a slave. I mean, it's general principle. And listen, it's not like, oh my god, uh, this money, this money, all that. No, no, it's the principle. That's all. And you know what? It's called trust. And so if you think about it, that's called disorganizational trust. Because how can someone like me trust someone who can't even pay me on time? When I did this workshop, he didn't even tell me, hey, how much are you going to pay me? I had to ask one of the teachers to tell me. And I'm like, dude. It's all about trust. You did this last year. I remember I had to call him one time or I messaged him. I was like, dude, where is the money? And he's like, oh, sorry, we're, uh, it's going to come through tomorrow. And then he hung up 
And that was the last time I heard from him for a very, very long time. Until, of course, the consultant came back to me and he was like, hey, you know, uh, we would like you to work, 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 work. And I'm like, dude, you guys got to start paying on time. And now I'm going through the same situation again. And so now I got to be very, very stern when this apparent team calls me and says, uh, yeah, uh, you need to pay me as soon as possible or I will walk. And a lot of people would say, you know, that's a little crazy. You know, don't just walk out. Don't do this. Don't that. It's it's not even that. And you know what? Again, multiple sources of income. This is what helps me. And I think you should do the same thing. You should be able to create something on the side where you could generate more income from just in case this one falls at, uh, falls away. You need to look for a backup. In the meantime, you need to continue looking for backups. Like right now for four months, you've already been at it. You need to say, uh, you know what? This isn't going to be a long-term thing. You already know it's not going to be long-term because he's not paying you on time. So what I would do is start looking for another place, obviously more reliable, and so you don't have to deal with that anymore. And you know what? You could just rub it in his face and say, hey, man, uh, yeah, so listen, you've been paying me like late, and uh, I just don't roll like that. Business is business. A man deserves to be paid on time. If he's not able to be paid on time, that means it creates distrust within the organization, and then I know that there are a lot of just pesky, bullshit-ass things that are happening over there. So, message him, and what I would do is just sit him down and say, hey man, we need to agree right now that you're going to pay me on time. And first, get your check. I don't know if you've gotten your check yet, and I don't know how often you get paid. I don't know if it's on a monthly basis or not, but first, get your check, and then sit his ass down. Don't go crazy right now without getting paid, okay? Get your check and say, hey, we need to talk about how you, how you guys pay me, because I'm sick and tired of waiting, and I'm sick and tired of asking. That's all there is to it. And so, again, you always have to look at it from this uh, this standpoint. And I know it's a selfish standpoint and it's a very egotistical standpoint. But they need you more than you need them. Trust me. Trust me. And so, I mean, at the end of the day, you have to do what's best for you. If you're waking up stressed about, oh, my God, am I going to get paid today? I don't know if I'm going to get paid today. That is a bullshit way to live. I can tell you right now, you're going to have to take a big step out of that comfort zone and say, you know what? I'm done. We're not doing this anymore. So I hope this helps you. And it's the same situation I'm dealing with. So I'm going to have to follow up with this one probably in about a week's time because by that time, I will have made a decision whether or not, hey, you know what? Uh, yeah, this isn't working. It's a bunch of bullshit that you, what you're putting me through. And you know what? I shouldn't have to ask. It's very, very easy to pay people on time. Or at least tell me a day that I get paid on time. I shouldn't have to ask you and for you to send me a very, very vague message back. An ambiguous message back saying, oh, the the the, the something team's going to contact you about your hours last last month. Um, and if they say anything stupid or anything under the amount that I have right now, I'm quitting. But I won't say that yet. I'll first get the money and then I'll say, hey, you know what? Due to... Uh, what does it do to you not pay, uh, paying me on time? Uh, we're going to have a big issue. Uh, or, you know what, due to you not paying me on time for the last three months and even last year, this has happened on a regular basis. For probably four to six months, you haven't paid me on time. And that's not how I roll. There's got to be a, a time frame when you pay me on time. So you're going to have to tell me right now and give me some assurance or we're going to have to cut this thing short and I'm done with you guys. That's it. And it sucks because, yeah, I'm, you, a lot of people be like, oh, you're shooting yourself in the foot. Oh, you have this company over here. You have this. You have that. Hey, but, I mean, principle is principle. Or I'm going to have to charge him more. And if he doesn't agree on it, bye. So, guys, with that being said, and, of course, for this specific individual that actually messaged me, I hope you could take something away from this because this is a serious matter. So, with that being said, guys, have a wonderful morning, afternoon, and evening. Again, always send your Q&As to my email. Again, everything's in the description. And do not hesitate to ask me anything. I'm your host, as always, over and out.